Since we first set our sights on the stars, our curiosity about the universe has only grown stronger, and no spacecraft has pushed us further in our quest for knowledge than Voyager. With its incredible journey beyond our solar system, it has revealed just how vast and mysterious the cosmos truly is. But how can we continue exploring this unknown frontier? For almost half a century, the Voyager missions have been vital to our understanding of space, providing us with groundbreaking insights into our solar system's secrets. And while these missions were never meant to last this long, the Voyagers are still sending us data to study. But a new message from the depths of space has given us pause. It could make us question everything we thought we knew. As we wait to unravel this cosmic mystery, one thing is certain, the Voyagers have taken us on an extraordinary journey, and their legacy will live on as we continue to explore the unknown. Are you ready to hear the latest news from the vast expanse of space? Hold on tight because Voyager 1, after venturing beyond our solar system for 45 years, has just made contact with an unknown object and sent back a chilling warning. Buckle up and join us as we unravel the mystery of this unprecedented discovery in today's video. Before we proceed, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the latest space news and discoveries from our channel. With that mentioned, let's continue to explore the unknown together. Originally intended to last just five years after its launch in 1977, this mission has far exceeded expectations and continues to astound scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Believe it or not, the idea for the Voyager mission was born out of a lucky accident. One of the masterminds behind the mission, Michael Menovich, realized that a spacecraft could use the velocity of a planet to slingshot further out into the solar system. And so, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft were launched within weeks of each other, with the initial mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn. But that was just the beginning. Voyager 2 went on to become the first spacecraft to make close observations of Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These incredible trips became known as the Voyager Grand Tour, and after that, the two spacecraft embarked on an even more ambitious mission to explore the distant reaches of space and explore they did. In 2013, Voyager 1 reached the border that separates our solar system from interstellar space. Can you imagine what it must have been like to witness such a momentous event? But that's not all. In 2018, Voyager 2 followed suit and also entered interstellar space. These two spacecraft are currently the only probes to have ever ventured into this mysterious region between stars. During their epic journey, the Voyager spacecraft gathered invaluable data about the interaction between the interstellar medium and solar wind. They'd also provided crucial insights into the heliosphere, that protective bubble that surrounds our solar system. This bubble is shaped by the interstellar conditions and the constant flow of charged particles from the sun, known as the solar wind. And the boundary between the solar system and interstellar space is called heliopause. The incredible Voyager probes have provided us with groundbreaking insights into interstellar space. One of the most fascinating discoveries made by these intrepid explorers is that cosmic rays are three times more intense outside the heliopause than within the heliosphere. This finding, combined with data from subsequent missions, has given us a much more comprehensive understanding of the Sun and how it interacts with the surrounding space. But that's not all. In 2022, Voyager 1 detected a mysterious humming sound related to waves in the sparse gas of interstellar space, according to Nicola Fox, director of NASA's Heliophysics Division. These discoveries are invaluable in helping us better understand the Sun and its impact on our solar system. For 45 years, the Voyagers have been a critical part of our quest for knowledge, providing insights that no other spacecraft has been able to match. But here's a kicker. Both Voyager spacecraft are powered by a thermoelectric power system based on plutonium. And as the plutonium decays, the heat production and power output gradually diminish. To compensate for this decrease in power, the NASA team had to turn off all non-essential and some originally deemed necessary systems, like heaters that safeguard still operational instruments from the intense cold of space. The five instruments heaters have been switched off since 2019 but they are still operational. How is that even possible? NASA experts are still scratching their heads, 
amazed by the remarkable durability and resilience of the Voyager probes. Scientists have discovered some bizarre activity occurring at the outer edge of our solar system, at the heliopause, the point where the sun's solar wind meets the interstellar medium. Reports suggest that this boundary, which was once thought to be a static border, is rippling and bending in unexpected ways. While the idea of heliopause changing its shape is not a new one, recent studies have shown that this phenomenon is more complex than we thought. To get a better understanding of this mysterious boundary, scientists have been relying on data from NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer IBX, satellite, and the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft, the only two probes to have ventured outside our solar system. The Voyager missions have been instrumental in gathering in situ measurements of the heliopause and providing crucial information on the interactions between the solar wind and the interstellar medium. IBEX, on the other hand, helps complement this data, offering a unique perspective on the emissions of energetic neutral atoms ENAs, produced during this process. However, recent findings have revealed some conflicting data about heliopause, indicating asymmetries in the ENAs over several months. Despite this, scientists are using the data collected to develop models that can predict future changes to this constantly shifting boundary. According to Vice, after closely examining data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, researchers have found some mind-boggling asymmetries that don't seem to fit in with existing models. And if that wasn't enough to make your jaw drop, get this, there's been a significant shift in the heliopause, that too within a short period, leaving experts puzzled. The two spacecraft entered interstellar space in 2012 and 2018 respectively, which is a considerable time gap. But the movement of the heliopause has stirred up some fascinating new questions about our understanding of space. The researchers are calling these findings intriguing and potentially controversial in an article published on October 10th. With NASA's Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe scheduled to launch in 2025, experts are eagerly waiting to see what other surprises the universe has in store for us. But wait, there's more. In May, Voyager 1's onboard system started sending back some perplexing data instead of regular reports about its condition. This discovery was reported in the prestigious journal Nature Astronomy, where researchers discussed the fascinating movement of heliopause and the intriguing asymmetries that are shaking up existing theories. It's all hands on deck as scientists continue to investigate these unusual phenomena in the remote regions of our solar system. So, what's causing these strange occurrences? According to a statement from NASA, the Voyager 1 spacecraft experienced something akin to electronic aphasia, a condition that can impair one's ability to speak fluently. In other words, it was like the spacecraft suddenly forgot how to communicate properly, and the data it generated seemed to be completely random. Despite this bizarre glitch, Voyager 1 appeared to be in tip-top shape from our viewpoint. The radio signal from the spacecraft remained strong and consistent and the science systems were still collecting and transmitting data, even though the AACS was experiencing abnormalities. It's like the spacecraft had a case of temporary amnesia, but still managed to carry on with its work as if nothing was wrong. Thankfully, the brilliant engineers at NASA were able to identify the issue and implement a solution whenever a glitch occurred. They discovered that the AACS had started transmitting telemetry data through a faulty onboard computer that had stopped working many years before. Talk about space mystery. But with a little ingenuity and a lot of brain power, they were able to get things back on track by instructing the AACS to use the correct computer to send its data. So what caused this space snafu in the first place? That's the million dollar question. According to a hypothesis done by NASA, the Attitude and Articulation Control System, AACS, received a faulty command from another onboard computer, causing it to behave erratically. While this hasn't posed a major threat to the spacecraft's well-being so far, NASA is determined to identify and address the root cause of the problem to avoid any future incidents. But that's not all, folks. Voyager 1 has been venturing through uncharted territory beyond the protection of our sun's magnetic field, exposing the spacecraft to all manner of cosmic rays and interstellar radiation. This is like being in the wild west of space where anything can happen. To make matters even more challenging, the spacecraft is over 45 years old, way beyond its original mission plan. That's some serious staying power. Despite these obstacles, Voyager 1 has been performing like a champ. 
It's an exceptional spacecraft that has achieved feats beyond our wildest dreams. So, what are your thoughts on Voyager? You feel inspired by its incredible journey through the cosmos? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this content, please give us a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to stay updated on the latest developments in space exploration. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.